struggling. Don't be one of those people like, I made it on my own and ain't nobody ever helped me. I did all this on my own. I'm a self-made girl, self-made boss, la, 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 la. and give you all some tips for people who are striving to be successful on the road to success on the come up leveling up in life getting to where they want to be in life and you're just on that journey i myself am on that journey um and there's just so much to it so i just want to give y'all like just some things to think about things that i'm thinking about because once again everything that i tell you all i've thought about it for myself i'm thinking about it for myself or i'm going through it myself and i just want to share it with y'all and get some feedback from you all as well as to what you're doing and what's helping you we are a community let me repeat we are a community nobody is over anybody we just helping each other out so make sure you comment some things in the comment section related to this video Make sure you also like, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, go check out my Etsy shop. I am selling these earrings and a lot of different other colors. First thing is um, realize that, of course, success, like everybody says, like, success is different to everyone. Like, that's true though. Like, success is legit. Like, it could be money, it could be, um, a spiritual journey that helps you to get to success or they helps you to feel like you're successful your spirituality it could be your body goals it could be family goals it could be career goals educational goals it could be whatever you think it is or it could just be a simply a state of mind you know and i really feel like that's really the key right there is a state of mind but whenever you get to where where you think oh my goodness i'm successful i'm on top of the mountain there's gonna be even more steps to it like there it's not just one set finite thing like boom i'll get here i'm good like for me with youtube i was like oh my goodness oh my goodness i want to get these many subscribers then you get that many subscribers you're like okay now i want to work on my views okay i got my views now i want to make more money okay i make more money now i want to branch out of youtube so there's like so many things along the way to your success and there's you have to realize that it's just um milestones certain milestones to get you to where you want to be in certain miles there's not just the promised land milk and honey i've made it i'm good like i ain't got to do nothing else for the rest of my life that ain't how it work until you die that's not how it works there's always going to be something more to strive for so realize that number one and then piggybacking off of that since there's always going to be more to strive for you have to realize that like one there's no rush to get there but two you do need to you know you need to actually work towards it. You need to be acting towards it. But just know that when you get to a certain point or a certain milestone, be happy, be content, be satisfied. Be in that moment. Because if you're constantly thinking about the next thing, the next thing, I'm out here, I got to make this money. I'm out here, I got to do this, I got to do that. If you're constantly thinking about the next thing, you will never find satisfaction you will never feel successful because you will always feel like you're inadequate like you're not enough i'm not at this point so i can't be good enough then when you get to that point you're like well dang she doing this he doing that let me do a little bit more you're never gonna feel satisfied if you keep chasing the next thing so know that there are other things that there's more to this life that there's more to your journey more to being successful but also know that when you reach a milestone, be grateful for it. Show gratitude, um, bask in it, be in the moment, be present, reflect on things and be like, wow, a year ago I was here. This is how my mind was a year ago. This is where my head was a year ago. This is where my finances were a year ago. Wow, I made it. Look at me, I really did well. Reflect on things, be in the moment, show gratitude. That will help you to have more confidence and not always be chasing after something chasing after something like no that's not how life is supposed to be so that's my second tip third is when you do get to a certain point give back now i think some people feel like in order for me to give back like i have to have this amount of money i have to have this amount of titles behind my name 
have to be at this level and that level. Honey, I am an LPN. I am at the start of the nursing, you know, whatever. And I have, what, 20-something thousand subscribers, however many hundred thousands of views. Like, I'm almost at a million views. I'm, we getting up there to a million views, y'all. Yay. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share my videos. But I'm an LPN. I'm at the beginning. And I just started where I'm at, you know. I think some people feel like you have to do so much. There's even as a CNA, even as a CNA, there's people that want to become a CNA and want to know more about it. You can start there. Even before that, say, shoot, you, you did some college classes. You can help people at that level. No matter where you're at, you can always give back to somebody. You can always give somebody advice, words of wisdom, encouragement, tell them your testimony. You don't have to get to the promised land in order for you to look back and help the little people. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have, you can do it at any stage of your journey and I think this is very important I, on my channel I talk a lot about your mindset and changing your mindset and now I feel like we're in the stage where I want to talk about being of service to other people because if you want to go into nursing a lot of people they do it because they want to help people right so you can do that in any facet of your life but for whatever reason you chose to do it through nursing but being of service to people yeah that will take you so far. You don't know how many times, like just me doing YouTube, of course I get something out of it. And there's so much, um, it's such a reward to be able to uh, be in a position to help people and to just give words of wisdom to people. And it blesses you. I'm telling you, you will be blessed when you are able to, when you put yourself in a position to bless other people and help. Hand me that, Madison. Give me that. I know she probably got green smoothie all over her. Anyways, you will be blessed just by you helping somebody else. And it doesn't have to be monetary. Giving your time, that really helps people. I'm telling you, money comes and goes. But if you give your time, you give somebody some advice, some word of wisdom, some information they didn't know before they saw you or met you, it's gold. And that person will always remember you. They will, When something comes up, they will remember you might have to connect you with somebody else you never know what blessing you can have just by helping somebody there's nothing wrong with helping people i think some people feel like oh if i help them out then i got competition or i got this and i got that i don't see things like that but a lot of people come to me like oh how do i work on youtube how do i do youtube i'm glad to help people now i'm not gonna sit here like i think i talked about this in the video jay-z said i opened the door for them these want me to walk for them like I ain't gonna walk for you I'll open a door and help you out here and there but I'm not gonna you know I ain't gonna do everything I ain't gonna do all the work honey I'm gonna help you out give you a little advice give you some people to look at some videos to look at give you my point of view but be of service to people help people out network with people the next thing is it can be when you are looking to improve yourself and when you're going through it's like growing pains you get when you're looking to be better, to do better, to level up, to to accomplish your goals, whatever the case may be. It can be really hard. It can be, like I said, growing pains. Which exit do I get off on? It can be growing pains. It can be um, putting you in situations where you're uncomfortable, where you don't know what to expect, where you might feel like you're the only person that's doing this. Like like with me right now, I'm a stay at home mom, I work from home, I'm doing YouTube, I'm looking to be successful through YouTube. I don't know anyone where I live that's doing what I'm doing. With their job, at home with their kids, and want to be a full-time YouTuber or being a full-time YouTuber. Like, I don't know nobody that's doing that, so. <laughs> I'm on the road, let's travel. <laughs> so to me, sometimes I do get depressed. Sometimes I'd be like, oh my goodness, what the hell am I doing? Like, how am I gonna do this? Blah, blah, blah. Like, oh my gosh, I'm a mess. Like, oh my goodness. Just know that you're gonna go through those growing pains. And that's all it is, just growing pains. It's just like when you start working out and you start feeling like uncomfortable or, oh my goodness, my body aching. Oh my, I'm tired, blah, blah, blah. Once you get past like that first, whatever, that transitional stage and you, kind of get into the groove of things it will become easier for you everything will become easier then guess what that next you're going to kind of plateau and then the next challenge is going to come your way that's just the cycle of life and it's not the, that's just how things go but you have to make sure you just push 
through whatever it is that beginning hurdle you know um when it comes to leveling up and getting to that next level in life like just get through that the beginning of those little growing pains and just know that for a minute things are going to be good it's going to get right back rocky again once you go towards that next stage but that's just life this is quote that says like every next level of your life is going to um, require a different you I'll put the quote up but it's so true and I'm learning that more and more as I go and I'll be like oh my goodness like why winter everything just gonna be easy selling like why can't I just get to that next level and be good it's just not gonna happen and I've come to terms with the fact that it's not gonna happen the part of life the part of living is to constantly grow to constantly improve to to evolve and that's just part of it that's just where we at in life we have to keep evolving we have to keep growing um, and once you start realizing that when you go through these pains, when you have these frustrations, when you have these moments of, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, I'm a hot mess, you'd be like, oh, you know what? This is part of the process. Let me just work my way through it. I'm going to be all right. And it'll be easier for you to get through things. Am I going down the wrong way? I think I am. Okay, I think I am, yeah. Anywho, we got to stop comparing ourselves to other people myself included this is something i've realized that i've been doing a lot and it's very toxic um and i talked about this in another video when i was like uh it's all a lie i think i said or it's not the truth or something i'll put i'll put it up here for y'all but stop comparing yourself to people on the internet stop thinking that it's a facade yeah people put up what they want you to see people are a brand people are a product essentially a lot of people that you see on the internet they are branding themselves and positioning themselves so that they can be an asset to a company so that they can be seen in a better light in order to be able to um, be able to advertise for a company be able to have more subscribers to have more views to have more likes they put themselves in a position to be seen a certain way it is an image it is marketing is marketing that's all it is so don't compare yourself to people like that and also don't compare yourself on a negative end too like mm, i know i'm better than her if she i know i got this like she ain't doing nothing da, 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 da. don't compare yourself like that either because that's negative as well thinking that you're better than is it still flooded out here oh my gosh is it still flooded do it on a negative end either like looking at people being like mm, I'm better than her or I'm better than him or I got this or she ain't really doing too much I know I'm doing good like don't do that either that's negative focus on you focus on your progression look back on what you did let yourself be your own motivation when I say say that when I mean what I mean when I say that is look back on your past and like I said earlier and see where you came from and be like dang like I really did something or look back at a journal entry from like a year ago two years ago and maybe some of the things you were talking about or going through during the end you're like oh I, I overcame it I wrote down that I wanted to be at home working full-time working on YouTube taking care of my kids and y'all here I am doing it right now oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it right freaking now as I speak. I'm doing it right now. I'm about to take my kids to the park. The freaking it's middle of the day. Well, it's 8 o'clock right now. But I'm just saying, you know, I'm just out here living life. I'm taking my kids to the park. I'm filming videos today. This, that, and the third. Like, I'm just living my best life. We out here chilling, living our life. I'm doing it. And a year ago, I didn't know how this was going to happen. A few months ago, I didn't know if this was going to happen. So here we are doing it look back at yourself and be like man i made it okay so when you think oh am i really gonna be able to do this and do that well i've done it before i've done such and such before i've been able to do this before i've been able to accomplish this before why can't i do it right now you know what let me keep pushing let me just keep making things happen that's my tips y'all let me try to go a different part that's my tips you all i hope you all found this video helpful like i said this is something that i'm working through um, I, I definitely suggest that you find people who are doing similar things as you. As you level up in life, you may not always be able to keep the same people in your life. Not to say, boo, I got this. I'm already in now. I can't be friends with the rest of y'all. Like, I ain't saying do all that. What I'm saying is, is right now, I'm a stay-at-home working mom. 
I need to work on finding more stay-at-home working moms who are doing it, who are doing it successfully, who are making it happen, right? Because that's what I want to do. That's what I'm doing. I'm at the beginning of it, but I might need a little bit more guidance, a little bit mentorship to see, okay, how do people do this? Like, oh my goodness, Madison is talking y'all, but now, of course, I'm going to keep my friends, y'all. This is crazy how flooded this freaking lake is. It's ridiculous. Um, but I'm, of course there's friends I'm gonna keep, but I'm saying my circle has to change. I have to change and get new people. Don't be afraid to get new friends, y'all. Drake didn't have it right when he said no new friends. Don't be afraid to connect with other people who are doing what you're doing, okay? Find a different circle, and you can do it on the internet. Like I just uh, did a, I'm about to do a collaboration with a mom through YouTube. I watch her channel, I was like, I just hit her up like, hey, you wanna do a collab? Da, 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 da. We do similar content. You want to do pro life? Like, sure. Da, 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 da. Boom. There you have it. You know what I'm saying? So build your circle. Get more people um, out here that people got the cameras out taking photos. Like, this is crazy. But yeah, build up. You know, get more people around you that are doing more. My mom said that her dad used to say her all the time. Like, say for instance, you're not good at math. You need to make sure you got some friends out here that's good at math right you need to be around people who are doing things woo, that you can't do look at that i don't even know if i should drive through this Woo! okay okay i don't even feel like this road should be open y'all see this whoa that's crazy oh i don't want to drive through this yeah this is crazy i found it helpful let me know in the comment section if you have more tips or certain things that you had to do or certain ways that you had to change as you find yourself growing and um, getting closer to who you want to be in life getting closer to your dreams and aspirations what have you had to change in your life i would say for me the biggest thing i would mm, probably had to change is going through my journey um it's probably opening up more i had to learn to open up more i'm not saying that i've i've found myself to be shy and reserved at times and i've had to learn you know what brandy you have something to say you have words use them um don't be so closed in don't feel like you know people are out for you <laughs> open up open your mouth connect with people be your most authentic self and um just trust that I had to learn how to open up and trust people more. Um, and the way I'm doing that a lot is through YouTube. It's, it's helped me to open up more. So yeah, that's that's what I would say for me is the biggest thing I had to change. Let me know which I have had to change, which I have had to do as y'all have gone through your journey of becoming more of your authentic self. Yeah, let me know in the comment section you are. And make sure you go join the Your Faith Nurse Be Facebook group as well. Follow me on Instagram. Um, I know y'all can't see me right now, but follow me on Instagram. I'm looking to grow my Instagram account more. So please go follow me over there and share some of my posts with people. Just help your girl out. Help me out, y'all. Help me out. Shoot. That's something else. On your journey, you better ask for help. No man or woman is a freaking island. Don't be one of those people like, I made it on my own and ain't nobody ever helped me. I did all this on my own. I'm a self-made girl, self-made boss, la 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 la. Oh, child. Right, ain't that right, Maddie? Child. Look, nobody is doing this by themselves. How the heck are you saying you a self-made boss by yourself? You just created your own money? You created money? You created your like you your own customer too? Like, come on now, somebody helped you. Somebody helps you, you went and got some, did your own research, even doing research. Somebody has to write these articles, make these videos to give you the advice that you need to be able to do stuff. So you're, honey, nobody did it by themselves. Stop thinking that you gotta do everything by yourself and you ain't gotta ask for help and you better than people and this and that. Cut that idea. Cut that right off right now. You gotta, I know I'm blurry, but you have to realize that this is not something that we do by ourselves. We we have we work together. That's how life works. People
people come together to make things happen in life okay like stop thinking that you can just do it by yourself or you did it by yourself and uh, i'm this i'm that blah, blah, blah. i can't stand that ideology because it's not real it's not real oh my god i can do a whole video about that but ask for help i'm not saying when, and when you ask for help and this goes back to me saying give back to people when you ask for help be specific don't just say oh i really want to do this and he like um what do you think like be specific come to people with some research oh i did this and i found out this have you found this to be true people just i mean i mean people do it for me they be like hey i want to become a cna or hey i want to do this any advice any tips okay I'll, i have plenty of videos for one about that like comment and subscribe but it, it's better when you want help from somebody to show that you've already done the work You've already talked to a few people or you already did some advice, read some articles, and you just need clarification about something. Go to them with that. Or say you don't really know that much. You can go to them and be like, hey, um, I heard about this. Do you know that anything else about it you can add to it? Any help would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. You know, but it is best to go to people with some type of something so you can get specific advice. Okay, that's that. Um, um, are we here yet? Yeah, we're here at the playground. Gonna let these kids play. Hmm. Yeah, so wear them out before it's time to go to bed. Yes, Maddie. You about to go to oh my goodness, it's a deer. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Am I still recording? Y'all see that deer? Oh my they don't want us to be they don't want us out here at this park. Yeah. I think we're not gonna go to the park. Yeah, Maddie said it right. Oh no, we finna go to the other park, Maddie. I done drove out here wasting all this gas. I'm scared. I don't want to go to the park with the dirt. Let me see. Should I go up in there, y'all? What y'all think? Maddie keeps saying no. No, no. Because if it's a dirt, honey, it's probably a bird somewhere, too. I mean, it's somebody over there walking a dog, and the playground is right there. So I'm thinking maybe it's not too. But I don't want to be. Oh, I, I don't really want to be around no dirt, y'all. Uh, I mean, the dirt walked away. Where he at? Yeah, yeah. You know what? We just don't. Mm. I hate to say it's a wasted trip, but I. Oh no, the dirt is legit right here, y'all. I'm not even zoned in. I'm, this is my car. That's the deer. And he just staring at me. Yeah. Um. Uh. Uh. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Okay, he walking away. You know, Dursey messing with people's cars, y'all. I ain't trying to get my car messed up. Yeah, that, that's my cue to go. I'm trying to be out here, get my kids out here in the great outdoors and the Durs want to come out. I know we in y'all habitat, but. Anywho, y'all, we completely off subject. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. And um, thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all, I gotta go. I gotta find somewhere to take these kids because Madison is back seat and she ain't having it, honey. You ain't having it, are you, Maddie? I'm not going back over here where it's flooded. All right, y'all, bye.